Hey man, I'm Bronson, and I want to tell you what I think about the Flesh and Blood Unlimited. Welcome to Wrath, Booster Box, and Cards. Now before I talk about this product, I really want to encourage you to please check out some really great online game stores that are really passionate about Flesh and Blood and the community as a whole. Notably, Reaper Game Stores, Midtown Merchant, and FabArmory.com. I'll put the link down below for those stores. And the reason why I'm talking about them isn't because I'm getting paid for this. I am doing this because I think that they are great stores. I've had great buying experiences. And I honestly think that they have really great deals on each of those stores. Honestly, they, they're really good. This isn't some sort of like, oh, help them out because, you know, they're, they're doing a good thing. No, they're doing a good thing and a great thing for the community. But they also have really good products and really good deals. So it's really a win-win. And if you want to see the Flesh and Blood community grow and you want to encourage this type of thing, please consider them when you're purchasing this product or any other flesh and blood product now to get into the flesh and blood unlimited product i know you're probably being bombarded by so many different angles of like oh well what about this and that and then oh and the market's going crazy and the market's going down and like settle down guys we, we need to just focus and take a deep breath and think about this you know take that deep breath <sighs> right okay calm down okay I really wanted to list this out and kind of explain this methodically. Now, the summary of this whole product and what's happening in November 2020 with the Unlimited Welcome to Wrath release is they are reprinting the Alpha Edition of Flesh and Blood into an Unlimited product. And this is really an important time for Flesh and Blood as a whole because we are transitioning, guys. This is that little caterpillar metamorphosizing into a butterfly. We are going from a pure collectability, investability kind of model to being a playing card game and trying to get a bunch of people and market share into the game. We're going from that collectability to trying to get to people to actually play the game and to increase the amount of players. That's what's happening. And it's a really important time period. And to be honest, I don't know 100% what's going to happen. It's it's really crazy what's going on with this product and, and how the market is going to adapt to it. Now, I want to talk to you specifically on the key factors that I have seen and, and what I'm kind of thinking. Now, before I get into that, this is not investment advice. This is not an investment channel. I'm doing this as entertainment. I'm just a random guy in a room. This is a room. I am a man. I am a guy. And, you know, that's it. I, I'm not some sort of, like, guru in anything. I'm just telling you how I see it. I'm Bronson, man. So we're going to talk about the first thing, the unlimited edition. And I have kind of talked about this a little bit. It's for flesh and blood players. It has the red choking hazard unlimited sticker on the box. It says red the unlimited. And that means it's going to be printed a lot. This is for players where the alpha edition had that really nice sexy sticker on it that said, hey, this is a first edition product. This is the first printing of this product. This is for collectors. This unlimited edition product is for players. So I really want to drive that home and tell you that this product is meant to actually play the game. And, and everyone knows this. I, I'm not giving you like huge information here. I, I know this isn't like eye-opening. Like, Whoa, Bronson just blew my mind. I didn't know that. No, th everyone knows this, guys. I just want to hammer that home. And the reason why is because, guys, if you're thinking of investing or collecting this, just wait, wait a couple months to buy this. You know, could you make, you know, maybe $50 if you scalp a bunch of these? Possibly. Could you lose a couple hundred dollars if you try to scalp these and get upset? Possibly. I don't know, man. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's just not worth it. Let the players of the game actually get the cards and play it out. I don't want this stuff to be bought out instantly and, and sit in, like, someone buys, like, 10 cases and just sits them in their basement and just you know, drinks their coffee and is like, oh yeah, I'm happy I'll get all this. No, like, but I'm also saying if you want to buy like, you know, a couple buy boxes or a case to open and have fun and play the game, that's what it's for. So I please, you know, <laughs> I really encourage you guys out there 
to buy this for playing the game. And if you want to invest or collect, do that later on in the year, in the, in the year, in 2021. You know, this stuff is going to be printed, you know, for a bit. And that guy goes into my second point. Now, the unlimited print run has no set time period for printing. And that is kind of a thing that I took from the Twitter account for Flesh and Blood TCG. I asked them personally a while back. I said, hey, uh, I see this unlimited thing. How long is it going to be printed? What's up with this? And they said, hey, uh, Bronson, the uh, set time period for when we print this, there, there's no set time period. Any original product that's printed has a chance... Ha can be printed in unlimited set. So what that tells me is that it seems like this is kind of like a print to demand type of thing where they will wait until the stores have like 20% left of their product and then they'll print more, supply the stores, and then when the stores have 20% product left again, they'll print more, supply to the stores. But the big question here is how long are they gonna do this? And you don't know. But all I'm telling you guys, is that it has a red sticker that says unlimited. Come on. Now, the third point I want to say is that the Welcome to Wrath Unlimited Edition has very low differentiation from the original product, in my opinion. The big thing to note is the cold foils that we had in the original product are not in this unlimited product, which is big. And, and they've said that that was the major... Uh, collectability item the, the cold foils are supposed to be like the chase thing that people collect it's not going to be in this product and you know even that it's it's not that big of a deal i in my opinion but what i was surprised at the beginning is i thought that they would change something on the card to make it seem like it's it's a different product now i know at the very bottom the only other differentiation other than no cold foils in this product is you will have a different date on the bottom of these cards and also the set rarity will also have like a circle and there's going to be like a different color for each rarity symbol and stuff like that but and the date but if you think about it that's not that's not much differentiation from the product which I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how the market cares. If they, if they see like, well, you know, this card uh, from the base alpha printing is $10, but this unlimited card is like 50 cents. Like, is, is there going to still be demand for the alpha card? And, and I think yes, but it's it's just weird to me. It, it kind of is weird that they dif didn't differentiate it too much. But I think it's a great play because if they differentiate it too much, no demand would be inputted into this unlimited product. Now, that, that's kind of what we know so far about the unlimited booster box, and that's kind of the, the facts that I've kind of gathered. Now, four and five, these are more generally accepted facts. They're, they're not facts, but they're, they're more of like generally accept, accepted trends for trading card games in general. So the first is single prices usually drop after release. So if you see single prices for the cards on Unlimited, they might be a little bit inflated because there isn't as much of a supply in November 2020 because the product is first getting released. Now over time, in the next six months, tons of these boxes will be opened. So tons more supply of the single cards will hit the market, meaning the card prices will decrease. Are there exceptions to the rule? Of course, this could be different, but I'm just saying in general, single prices normally decrease because the supply of the cards increase. It's kind of a general thing. And, and then the last thing I wanna note is, box prices usually uh, do not increase while the product is being printed. And remember, like it's going to be produced for a pretty long period of time in my mind that it seems there's no set release like time where it's going to end. So from what we've been communicated to, you're going to have a long period of time to get this product. So just chill out if you want to buy it and sit on it and keep it sealed. Just chill out and, and wait for your moment. To where you know it's mostly allocated out and people have gotten the cards and people can play the game so that's really kind of the overview of this product and what i think about it as just personally i think it's great 
I mean, I think it's great that you have a product that people can actually play the cards with, play with the cards, and not have to worry like, oh, I got I got a ding on my card, like, oh man, like now it's not collectible anymore. No, it's like these cards were meant to be played with, and this is meant to be kitchen table stuff, and and I really like that for the game, and I think it's going to be great because it's going to make so many more people be able to play the game. And the players can come. And it's no big deal because the people who want to collect, they can still collect. They can buy that uh, the first edition print run and all that stuff. And all. You have a different you know, segmented products of first edition and unlimited. And I really like how they seg segregated that. So you know, the people who want to you know, collect can do buy those cards. And people who want to actually play the game uh, can buy these unlimited booster box. Now, just to wrap things up again, I really want to caution everyone who's buying this product. Like I said before, this is a major transitioning period for flesh and blood in general. You're going from collectability to player. So that is a huge change in their product and their corporate goal into the future. And we do not know what's going to happen to these boxes. It could soar, it could stay flat, it could decrease sharply. You don't know. No one knows. So I'm going to tell you guys, be cautious and, and just, I don't know. Personally, I think I'm going to wait a little bit to get this because I just don't know what's going to happen. Nobody does. And if they're telling you they know exactly what's going to happen and this and that, then they're lying. <laughs> they, unless they have some sort of time traveling device and know the future, which nobody does. So I will leave it off with that as I really highly caution anyone who's buying this in the initial release in November 2020 because you don't know what's going to happen. But to get on to more of a positive note, I am super happy for the game. This is amazing that the market share is increasing. There's a lot more players coming into the game, hopefully, and, and I'm really looking forward to to that for flesh and blood and the community as a whole i'm just really happy and excited for it i, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next thanks for watching guys and have a good one